Greetings, welcome to this Let's Play. My name is Leo, and this is my very first Let's Play. This is more of an attempt to see if I can actually do it in talk more than a few minutes about the game. And I've chosen Chrono Mask because it's a point and click adventure game, so I don't really have to think of my feet most of the time. Now, for those of you who have watched the intro, that I've uploaded before this, we know well, just about Zilch, about the actual gameplay, or about the main characters. Despite the fact that they're being displayed here. And that's really all I've got to say about that. But then again, I don't really have to explain the premise of the game. The game can do that for us like any good game should. So, let's dive in into Chrono Master. You really expect sound effects for this? Hey, Sugar Pop. Message incoming from the Terran Regional Representative. Tell the representative that I'm retired. The last thing I want to do is deal with a stuffed shirt. And, uh, don't call me Sugar Pop. Right. A wise and powerful maker of universes. Listen, this call is coded emergency. Maybe we shouldn't just put her off. The trouble with stuffed shirts is that when they blow up, they make a terrible mess. Put the representative through. Mr. Corda. I know you are retired, but we need you to deal with a very sensitive, very secret matter. Why bother me? Surely you have people on your own staff who can deal with this... whatever it is. You are the ranking human specialist in both terraforming and the creation of pocket universes. You are the only person who may be able to solve a problem that could, without exaggeration, threaten the continued existence of hundreds of thousands of sentient beings. Please, continue. Within the last half year, two privately owned pocket universes, Herbs and Orange, have been shut down. Time, effectively, has ceased to function within them. We need you to restart the universes and find out who is responsible for these atrocities. Although you will be working for the old Terran government, we prefer not to admit to interfering with private universes. You would be on your own. That's a pretty tall order. You realize that the key for each pocket universe is a carefully hidden secret known only to the universe's designer. We do know. That's why we need the best. Are you saying that you cannot do what someone else already has? If it is any comfort, there will be a large fee. You're trying to get my goat, lady? The fee doesn't matter. Not much, at least. I'll admit, I'm interested in this from a professional point of view. Is there anything you can tell me to get me started? Our research shows that the designer of herbs is named Charlie Bell. We have a contact number. You may wish to call him and see if he can give you a clue to the key of herbs. We can supply you with the coordinates for herbs and orange. Beyond that, you're on your own. You haven't seen Charlie in centuries. Yeah, maybe I'll check with him. Remember, you will need a supply of bottled time to function in stasis. I do know my job. I have some on board. Can I, uh, draw on your account for supplies to get started? Within reason. Does this mean you're on the job? Write up a contract. And, though I may be doing this because I want to know who's good enough to turn off universes, don't forget the zeros in the paycheck. Thank you, Mr. Corda. Contract will be forwarded. She's gone, Sugar Bob. Don't call me that. Well, that's a premise if I have heard one. Someone powerful enough to stop universes in their tracks. Well, for those observant enough to hear, I certainly didn't the first time I played this game. It was Ron Perlman playing Rene Corda, who will be playing as for the rest of the game. 
And now that we have got a little bit of uh, moving around time, we don't have to contact Charlie Bell right now, we can look around the ship. To our right... That sometimes doesn't work. We have the archives, which basically has all the information you will ever need when playing this game. Such as information about aging. Yeah, I don't really know what you would need with that, because... But then again, there is also an entry for Christmas. Which is equally as baffling. But anyway, if uh, the makers of this game really <laughs> did intend for you to need all this information to properly play... So if you don't know what uh, something is for, it'll probably become useful later. Alright, so we also have the diary, the personnel file on your mother, and the T Terran region representative. I'll assume more information gets added as you play. I never really checked. Information about uh, what you've picked up on the world. We have nothing as of yet. Also, stuff doesn't uh, transfer from one world to another, so if you pick up something on one world, you will never need it on the other world. And information about our ship. It's all real nice. Ni nicely detailed, at least. It's good to know that the game makers have gone through all the effort. And through our, to our left is the navigation console. Cons uh, console. Uh, we don't need that yet, as we are still in the dark about what we're, what we're going to do. So instead, let's talk to Charlie Bell. Corda? Renee Corda? It's been ages. How have you been? Pretty well, all things considered. Been living quiet since I retired, but... Uh now I'm onto something rather fascinating. I picked up an odd bit of work. It has to do with a couple of pocket universes that have been put into stasis without the owner's authorization. You designed one of them. A place called Herbs. Yeah, I designed Herbs. Can't tell you who for, though. Professional ethics, right, old buddy? Did anyone come to talk to you about your work, say, within the last year? No, no one. And even if anyone did, I wouldn't say a thing. I remember the terms of my contract and the ethics of my profession. Easy, man. I'm not trying to get you barred from the union. Uh, listen, is there anything at all you can tell me that might help? Well, since you're dealing with a universe in stasis, you're going to need bottled time. Brush up on its limitations. There are some tricky aspects, especially if the universe was fully functional and it was thrown into stasis. Thanks. Yeah, I'll do that. Um, uh, one more thing. The other universe that's been turned off is called Orance. You know anything about it? Actually, I do. The designer was an alien named Nizam Rokhtar. Do you know her? No, no. Can you uh, tell me anything about it? Not much. She's good at what she does. A bit vain, I've heard, but then aren't we all? <laughs> Thanks, Charlie. I'll uh, let you know how it turns out. Jester, my sweet. See if you can find me a contact number for an alien named Nizam Rokhtar. I'm on it. Hey, do you really think I'm sweet? Alright, that was Charlie Bell. Some useful information. Uh, let's continue. Nizam Rokhtar. Yeah, yeah, what do you want? I'm a busy artiste. Universes await my awakening touch. 
Standard greeting. Honorable Nizam Rakta. I am Rene Corda. Charlie Bell suggested that I call you. Rene Corda, I have heard of you. Before you retired, you set some jewels in the heavens. But why does Charlie Bell wish you to trouble me? I have nothing in common with him beyond our mutual profession. I am researching a difficult situation. Two universes, herbs and arms, have been put into unauthorized stasis. Charlie says you designed arms. Anything you can tell me may help to reactivate the universe and find the criminal responsible. Truly, I would not deny one of my children. But Aurens is in the care of a new owner. I have nothing to say about my desert child. Hmm. Well, she seems a bit full of herself. A bit vain, as Charlie suggested. I guess flattery might help. Ah, uh, Honorable Rakhtar. You were too kind when you spoke of my poor works as jewels. Compared to the beauties of your universes, they are poor rough stones. I would enjoy knowing more about your works for purely aesthetic reasons. Desert design is difficult. There is an art to the subtle arrangement of sand, rock, and plant life. It is a minimalistic art rather than the flashy, overblown styles of other terrains. I am certain. Your control at hearing that Orange has been shut down is admirable. You must be horrified. I am not happy. God's pockets paid me well for the job, even though some of the design specifications were peculiar. The work is up to my high standards. God's pockets. Hmm. This God's pockets must be an aesthetically sophisticated organization to have chosen both you and a desert world. Do you know how I might get in touch with them? No. They ordered Orange, paid me well, and then vanished. I believe that... Clear Terrific was hired to do five other universes. Those must not have needed your unique touch. It must be difficult to hide a world key for a desert universe. You would like the expanses of water or dense forests so many use to conceal such a sensitive item. For some, perhaps. But for me, it is a matter of art. I believe in placing the key in a place that, while difficult to penetrate, is in harmony with the greater purpose of the universe design. So for Orange, you would place it in a pile of sand. Orange is indebted both to the desert and to the Arabian Nights. I have set the key with it. Oh, but that would be giving away too much. You have a resonance tracer and a direction finder, do you not? So close. So you intend to make me work for my pay, do you? Locating the key shall be easy enough with those devices and your legendary skills. Perhaps it will be. Thank you for this opportunity to speak with you about your art. I leave your company enriched. Farewell. <laughs> Jester. I've already looked up the contact number for Clea Triffitt, Cordicute. You were uh, eavesdropping? I live to serve you, O oh great and mighty creator of universes. You serve well, Jester. Just don't eavesdrop. Now, connect me to Clea Triffitt. Well, that was a nice conversation. And almost had the secret to finding the world key too. Pity. Oh, well, maybe this new guy will prove more useful. Damn it. Hello, this is Rene Corda. May I speak with Clea Terrific? I regret to inform you that Clea Terrific is no longer alive. I am in charge of her estate. Alright, that's great. Bye. Very sorry to hear of her death. I am researching some of her projects, specifically universes she may have designed for an organization called God's Pockets. I am sorry, but that is confidential information. Even though Clea Terrific is no longer alive, I am still bound by the ethics of her profession. I knew I was going to regret helping draft those rules a few centuries back. Hmm. Well, he's gonna be tougher. But he seems reasonable enough. Sir, uh, I am not in a position to divulge full details, but I need to know whatever I can about Clea Terrific's work in order to save the lives of hundreds of thousands of sentient beings. Certainly, if you feel the need to keep confidential information for your employers, then you should understand my need to keep confidential information for my client. Oh, I do, sir. 
while I cannot divulge particulars, I can tell you the Terran regional government will be grateful for any information you may give, grateful enough that they would rule favorably if a question of confidentiality is raised. Well, I suppose it is not violating confidentiality to confirm that Kalia Terrific did design five universes for God's pockets. Five universes? Are you certain? Yes. They were listed in the files as Fortuna, Jungen, Cabal, Verdry, and Dice. Anything else about them listed in those files? No. In fact, the files themselves were destroyed in a massive fire shortly before Clea's death. She never spoke to me about the jobs. Once, when I asked her about them, she said that she was afraid that she had learned too much about God's pockets in the course of designing the universes. I see. Well, thank you very much for your help. Right. Got a bit of a mystery on our hands. <coughs> well, nothing else we can do here. Time to go to the navigation console, and I hope this works because it has crashed before. Yes! Right. So, now we can select which universe we want to investigate. Just for the sake of convenience, I'm gonna go with herbs. Because it's... I, I consider it a bit of a tutorial universe for this game. Also, it uses uh, very <coughs> recognizable rules. So basically, we, this is the universe selector, this is the planet selector. There's multiple planets in the Earth system, but uh, only one is habitable. And then we can select where we want to go, or where we want to land on Earth. In this case, as close as possible to Magnetic North, so we can find the world key and reactivate the world. So, blast off. Remember, the resonance tracer goes on magnetic north, dead on. I packed it with your things. It'll help you find the world key. Uh, boss, magnetic north is right where that uh, big scary looking statue is standing. Hmm. Well, here we are on Herbs. This is a fine place to take a brief break. I'll see you guys in the next part. Till then.